Hi everybody, this is Explore 867. Today is the first day of the rest of your life, so get out and enjoy it. Uh, today, Helen and I are up here in the mountains uh, out of the little town we live in, and uh, we're playing around in the snow. We're going to have a campfire. We'll make us something to eat and just bring you guys along and, uh, you know, uh, look forward to the day. Today I've got a, a hatchet that I brought up. This was my grandfather's. He was a home builder back in the, the uh, 40s. And they used to use these as part of the framing projects. It's a, it's a framing hatchet. And it's got a hammer head on the back of it and a claw, which is kind of cool. Anyhow, I just incorporated here in camp uh, for uh, doing firewood. This is a, a chunk of, uh, of what we call fat wood. So it's got its pitch saturated uh, pine and it works really well uh, for starting a uh, fire. So just take it like this and split it off. Should be enough fat wood to get us going here for our fire. So Helen, what are we having for lunch? I am making miniature turkey sandwiches with dressing, cranberry, spinach, Kobe Jack cheese, turkey, turkey breast. This camp kind of reminds me of uh, Camp Lake Cobear, which is a name we've got for one of our camps. That was a lot of fun. You're talking about the the bear? Incident? Yeah, the bear. <laughs> there was. I said, Rob, Rob, wake up! There's something out there. You heard it walking around. Rob, I've, I've run equipment a lot of my life, so I don't I don't hear her as good as she does. Uh, so. Anyhow, what well, I said, Rob, wake up. And you're like, well, <laughs> you woke up for a second and you told me, it's okay. There's antelope, there's deer, there's raccoons. Go back to sleep. Well, okay, so I did. Didn't worry about it. But the next morning, what did you find? Well, the next morning I got up, <clears throat> which I always do, and I went out and uh, just kind of got the camp opened up and uh, for the day got started to get breakfast ready and I walked around the perimeter of the camp which I always do early uh, in the morning and and uh, sure enough there was a, a, a track <clears throat> bear track there was a sow had been a sow and a cub that walked into our camp and uh, right in and around where the truck was <clears throat> we camped in the the old 96 are in the back in the uh, camper canopy I've got on that. Uh, or they call them toppers now. We always called them canopies when I was young. Anyway, but uh, we uh, we were camped in that and uh, he came and walked around, the, or she did, and the, and the cub walked around the truck and and then took off. Uh, we always run a really clean camp, thank goodness. So there was nothing for them to eat. But yeah, that was. I heard it. And then the the next night, we were there. Oh, the next night. So we. Next night we had. This is a lot of bear in this area, in Oregon. Higher elevation was it? Wasn't it higher up? No, um, very woodsy. <laughs> very woodsy. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, so the next night we actually had, we left the um, light on, but we uh, had a papa bear come by, wasn't it? A big yeah, bear. Yeah, there was, was yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Was a boar. He was big too. He was a big son of a gun. And, but he didn't come into camp. He he stayed he stayed off, uh, you know, about 30 yards out of camp. But you could see his track where he had walked around the camp and and then off mm-hmm. up into the woods. Like once again, you know, we always run a really clean camp, and uh, so there was nothing. For them to really go after, except for black bear, do tend to be rather curious. So sometimes they can get themselves into a lot of trouble. And collaterally, you, if you get caught by them and you find one that's not not real sociable, they can be a little nasty. Typically, they're a lot more afraid of you than than you are of them. So, and they don't they don't bother me. You know, when we lived up in Alaska, oh, we had a trip. <clears throat> we were we had walked out. Uh, this trail out on the uh, the inlet there in, in out of uh, was t- a little town called Hope, mm-hmm. <clears throat> and uh, we had uh, walked out this this trail, and you have to sign in before you go down the trail, so that way they know who's got, gone down the trail and who's returned or who hasn't. They know they need to come look for you. But what happened on that? So I was signing mm-hmm. out, and what at the <laughs> At the top I, of the trailhead, we had come back. Yeah. Well, we were on our way before back that. To the before car. that, we saw we had a, a black bear come down the hill at us. Yes, I was taking pictures of the wildflowers, and you were a little ways up away, which we normally don't separate that kind of country. But it just happened, and they said, "Rob, Rob, bear, bear," and yeah. See, I didn't, I didn't hear it once again. You know, it's just certain, certain tones or pitches I don't, I can't hear. And anyhow, so uh, we, uh, we decided we'd go ahead and head back since the bear were coming down. <laughs> what they were doing is they were coming down for the fish. Uh, the salmon were running and, and uh, once again, this is Alaska, there's a lot of salmon. So they were coming down for that. They weren't coming down to get us per se. And, but we had walked back to the trailhead and I was there at the little kiosk thing and I was signing signing out, you know, that we had made it back and everything. And you had gone up to the car <clears throat> and... Two more bear came up over the hill. Well, they came up right behind me, remember? Yes, yeah. <laughs> they were oh about, goodness. they were, I don't know, 20, <laughs> 20, 20 30 feet away. And, and uh, here I am signing the book and everything, you know, and, and I turn around and there they are and it's like well and that's that is kind of a bear thing too they they're sneaky but uh they had uh helen had gone up to the car and so i was down there signing it was the the trail went up to a lip and then where we had parked the car was up here and i was signing in the the kiosk down here and so the bear were behind me and uh so i turned around and saw them and so I, I took a couple of pictures because they weren't interested in me. I've been an outdoorsman all my life. I've hunted for all my life. You can kind of tell a demeanor of an animal. And uh, these bear were not interested in me. They were moving on through. And so I was taking a couple of pictures of them. And, uh, and uh, Helen was up on top and I heard her holler. And so I turned the camera off, went up to where she was at and there, there were a couple of uh, tents that uh, people had put up and they had were camping up on top where we parked. <clears throat> and uh, there, uh, there, one of the, the tents, there was a young gal that had been in it. She had left and gone somewhere for the day or whatever. So she wasn't there. And the bear, you saw the bear walk up to the tent. What did he do? He walked around the tent, around the tent, and then all of a sudden went whack! Flatten the tent. It was going. It was in that trying because she had left trail. food out in the in yeah. the tent. Yeah. And that's what the bear was looking for was, it was just food. Flatten that tent. Glad I wasn't in there or anybody. And so the gal, all. the little gal came back as we were up in the parking lot, getting ready to leave, and the little gal came back and saw her tent knocked down, and uh, she just she freaked just, her out. I don't know where she she wasn't in Alaska, and she was <clears throat> she <laughs> was from you know. The big city down down south. She just picked everything up, threw <laughs> it in the San back Francisco. of her car, and took off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, we've but, seen lots of bears. Lots of bear. They're usually they're not a they're not a, a big threat, you know. Typically, 
Uh, there's just something that you you have to be mindful of bear always. Bear aware. You have to be bear aware, as they say, and and uh, certain times of the year uh, worse than others, and and so that's you know you live in Alaska, uh, you're you're prepared to see bear all the time. Uh, here in Oregon, a lot of places that we go, uh, boondocking, uh, dry camping, uh, whatever you want to call it, you know, we see uh, evidence of bear sign. Typically, they're pretty, they're they're pretty solitary. They, they don't want anything to do with you. So, but it, it's always fun to see them, unless they're walking around your tent or in your in camp the middle at night. Of the night. <laughs> Yeah, anyhow, little bear story there for you. It was kind of fun. What a beautiful day. It is. It's nice to get out of Dodge and get you out of Dodge, get oh. you away from the office. And... Well, it's hard to imagine just looking around camp here, you know, and just how beautiful the sky is. Uh, we're supposed to get quite a storm, I guess, blowing in uh, tonight, and they're talking uh, eight inches of snow, six to eight inches of snow tonight or so. This is Explorer 867. I'm glad you came along with us today and, and shared the campfire with us. Uh, shared a little bit of bear talk uh, around the campfire. Uh, we've had a lot of fun experiences with those big furries and uh, so it's kind of fun to share some of our experiences with you. Anyway, uh, if you like the video give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and ring the bell, smash the bell, and you get the latest content from the channel as I release it. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the great outdoors. You guys take care.